Hi, in this video we're going to show you a nice tool you could use to help you uninstall software as well as install software. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute here. So it's called Hybit Uninstaller. So they have an installable version and a portable version that you don't have to install. So I'm running the portable version here so you just simply have to download it, uh, unzip it, and run the executable. So the first time you run the portable version it's going to ask you where you want to put the, I guess you could call them support files. You could either put it with the executable or you could have it put uh, I think somewhere in the Windows directory and some registry entries and that type of thing. But these are the files that come with it when it configures it. Alright, so we're going to just run it here. Okay, let's make this full screen here. Okay, so here are a couple programs I just installed today for testing and here are some things that were already on the computer. So you could uninstall multiple programs at once by just checking the box and then uninstall selected. And then when you right click on a program, you have some options here. So if you want to run the installer and do some modifications, you could do that. Not all programs will let you modify it, but you could do a reinstall if you need to or any extra configuration from there. Then we have the force removal, delete entries. You could edit the info that shows up in the list here. Hide from the list, select all refresh, change the view, open the registry key for that program. It's a nice feature. Open the installation folder, like so. And then you could go to the program website, search online, copy the name to the clipboard, and so on. Okay, so now let's try out just the standard uninstaller. So we'll try it with this one here. We'll just right click, uninstall selected. So one program to uninstall. So by default, this option is checked to hide original uninstallation entry. And you could also create a system restore point in case you think it's something that might cause a problem. So we'll click on start. So it's running the uninstaller that comes with the software. Okay, so now that it's uninstalled, if you click on scan, So here are a bunch of registry entries and a couple entries in these folders here. And you could have it create a backup if you want first. Otherwise, you could just check the ones you want, click on finish, and it'll do this registry cleanup for you. And now it's out of the list. All right, so now let's try a force removal. So let's say the uninstaller is not working and you really want to get rid of it. We'll do a force removal. So you got to do a scan for this. All right, so now you can see this time it shows more than just the registry entries here. So the program files directory, executables, some text files, some web browser files here, help files, and so on. And I'll just click on finish. And so now that was forcefully removed. Okay, so now let's try this other option here. Let me give us some room here. So we could use this installation monitoring option to install your programs and I'll show you what that does here. So we're going to do this smart rename installer. We're going to drag it in here and use this to install it. So it creates a registry snapshot. Okay, now it's going to start the installer here. And you can see it's starting the file folder monitoring and executing the setup file, which is what's going on right here. So we'll just install it like normal. Okay, so installation completed. So it stops the monitoring, creating a second registry snapshot and an installation log. Okay, so now we have our summary here, the name of the program, how many files and folders and their size, how many registry entries, Drivers, context menu items, shortcuts, and how long it took. Okay, so now that's in the list. So when we right click on this one here, these are our options. But now if we right click on this one that we installed using their method, we could show the log file. Of what was done when it was installed, whereas for these, there is no show the log file. 
Then you can also delete the log file if you don't want to have the log file. So that's a nice feature to have. So it pretty much just monitors your installation. And if you need to remove it, it's going to do a better job of getting rid of everything that was associated with the program. All right, so now let's get rid of it. Okay, we'll click on remove. And then we can have it scan again. All right, so a few leftover things here, so we'll finish this. And now that's gone. And then up here, you can change the color of your background. And if you want to make your own custom color, you could do that. Then we could also manage the Windows Store apps. Like so, if you want to remove some of these. So let's say we don't want this Windows subsystem for Linux, uninstall. Okay, finish this off here. All right, so now that's gone. Then you could also search here as well and sort by date and so on. Then we could do the same thing for Windows updates. So it's only going to let you uninstall updates that Windows will let you uninstall. It's not going to let you remove anything that uh, Windows wouldn't normally let you remove. Program Components Manager. You want to uninstall some of these. Browser Extension Manager for the different browsers. So a nice way to uninstall those. Registry Cleaner, you probably don't want to run. Uh, usually not a need to do that, and sometimes you risk causing problems, so we're not going to run that. Junk Files Cleaner. I'll just say no to that, because we don't want to leave those open. And so you can see there's a bunch of stuff here that you could clean up as well. Empty Folder Cleaner. So these are supposedly empty folders that are on the computer that you could have removed just for a little cleanup. Shortcut fixer. So this could delete the shortcut if it's not needed anymore. So this program is not on the computer, so I could delete the shortcut. Got a file shredder. Let's say we're going to find a picture here. Say we don't want this restaurant picture. We could shred that. And there's some options here for how many passes. Shred it. All right, so that's gone. You could add the file shredder to the send to menu, which is nice too. Process manager. If you want to view your processes, kind of like task manager. Startup Manager, this is nice too, to see what's set to start with your computer. And you could disable, delete, edit, uninstall, and so on. That's a nice feature. Service Manager, if you want to see your services. Task Schedule Manager, to see your running tasks or your scheduled tasks. You could run them, disable them, delete them. Open the file location and so on. Context menu manager for common and advanced. Then you have similar options when you right click on those. System restore manager. Uh, you can create your system restore points here and manage them. This computer doesn't have any, so there's not going to be anything shown there. All right, and then we have the backup and reports managers. So this is the backup that was made when we installed Smart Rename using the program itself. So we could uh, view them here and also get rid of them. Tools shortcut manager. If you want to create some shortcuts. Check for updates, languages, and then you have some themes. 
So as you can see, it does quite a bit more than just help you uninstall your software. And the nice thing is that it's free to use. Another cool thing to hear too is that it shows you the uptime of this computer, shows you the specs of the computer, and so on. All right, so I will put a link in the description where you could download Hybit Uninstaller and you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.